Hello everyone, Tamman2001 here bringing back more Ropa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we just woke up here and found ourselves uh, in a classroom with boarded up windows and a weird surveillance camera I'm too, not too comfy about. But anyway, I'm probably going to the classroom a little bit more before I head out. What? What else is there? Oh, the clock. That's right. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall. Has someone carried me here? That's true, it must mean... This is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But if then... But then if that's true... That just raises one more. Uh, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows—it's like a prison or something. None of this doesn't make any sense. I should probably just head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. Leave the classroom, press in the R key, or just go up to the freaking door and click on it. <laughs> Do the area? Yes. And let's see. Uh, yeah. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Blah, blah, blah. I know how to move. Ah, you don't care. Hey, the toilet crap, it's getting old. Um, let's see. Alright. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are. Oh, wait, wait, nope. I forgot. We're gonna go to the gym. Yeah. Alright, here we go. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Oh my god. Whoa, look at beefy. McGee over there. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. I'm sorry. So, counting him, that Look at the guy with the wacky 15. hair over there. Seems like a good cutoff point, but... I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had... that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. I like the it's I like the guy with the fucking weird ass hair. <laughs> Maybe I was just imagining it, but I I swear I could feel a kind of an aura coming from each of them. Okay. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry, I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Okay, what should I give you? It has to be like a hipster voice, so I'm gonna go with this. Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just get keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Just, uh, okay, I'm giving this guy the knuckle, my knuckles voice. Hey, wait, just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware that the meeting was about to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your new punishment. <laughs> what? What is your problem? It's not, it's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Yeah, I'm totally giving her this voice. She, because she's a fashionista. And fashionistas, no offense to fashionistas. Usually, the what I see on TV, they always have like this really snotty freaking voice. That's right. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? That's the voice I'm giving her. Okay, this guy looks really beefy, so I'm gonna give him the a really beefy ass voice. Oh yeah, this will be good. The hell? Then now there's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but 
It may be good to at least find out who we are all on before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we supposed to, we're supposed to talk to each other with that if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That. I'm giving him tails. I'm giving her tails his voice. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> um. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whoever else. Sound good? <laughs> I know I gave that one girl and her, her the same voice, but still. I don't give a crap. Uh, I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best just to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good as a chance I'm gonna get. I already looked it up at everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I just don't. I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to these five over here. And as you press the left mouse button to talk at them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Okay, so pretty much I gotta pay attention to each person's conversation. Uh, let's start with you, uh, Hifumi Yamada. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Oh my god, he has voices. God, what the hell's with his face? Okay, so he's the ultimate fanfic creator. By the way, do you know how, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am also well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fanfic fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed down to legend. Mm -hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid can you be? <laughs> that's, that's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The, world, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? <laughs> yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basis urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> The name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? <laughs> that's the voice. That's the voice I'm gonna give him, so go with it. <laughs> I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. Okay, so that's the guy that freaking cracked that baseball in half. That superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Give me a break. Give me a break. Yeah. What? Were you expecting some kind of kid with a shaved head? Shaved head. No, I was just expecting more of a you know sporty-looking tr traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found the article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, like, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Hey, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, I can be totally honest with you. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball. Like, at all. i would never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he's, he was still on his team's star... He was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. <laughs> yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good, and I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future. <laughs> my only path in life is getting to music. You feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. Actually, you might need a little more than that. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. 
I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Getting to know you. <laughs> okay, so you're the ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively and memorizing. Is that pleasant scent? I can't quite place. Sayaka Mizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group, famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. <laughs> huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, uh... By any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? <laughs> Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self and your drugs are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a lot of idle chit chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. I think Sayaka had really had something that she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll see each other. We'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Now, time for you, Toko Fukawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm T Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. That's the voice I'm giving you. Toko Fukawa. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. I'm turning up just a little bit. That book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figure she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece of being, being a romance and all. <laughs> your problem. But it's not polite to stare, you know. <laughs> so sad! Like I'm some filthy creature. <laughs> filthy creature? No, I thought. <laughs> I, I know what you just thought. You thought I was, you'd never seen such an ugly one. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. <laughs> Don't bother you. trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... No, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever, I really don't care. I don't really care. I'm used to it. We're well, not talking about inferiority complex. I was way off about what your successful audience would be like. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. And I need something to drink. My throat's starting to get a little dry. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his committee's public morals committee. And they say he, res he respects the rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Compass. Bloom. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naigi, right? <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! 
Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to talk to the, those five people over there. Okay, who should I talk to first? Uh, Mondo Wada. Junko Enoshima. Kyoko Kirigiri. And there we go. I think you can see it. And Chihiro Fujisaki. Aoi Asahina. I'll talk to Mondo. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Nice to fucking meet ya. <laughs> I know that's not the right voice for the character, but I don't know. It looks like the actor is what the actor sounds like, but I'm giving him that voice because. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means. He's our current leader of, our, of the largest biker gang in Japan. We got a crazy psychopath vampire looking guy over there. <laughs> He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. I'll talk to Junko. Hi, I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, okay, you're the ultimate fashionista. Anybody recognize this one? Wait, what does it say? How to show 20 more... World's cutest girl with the world's cutest eye patch. Uh, checks his <laughs> neon, 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 400 yen spring. Check out all the latest dresses and fashions, skirts, dresses, blah, blah, blah. Can't really read the rest of that. She's got more charm in, the, in, pre in presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover uh, photos and junk? <laughs> uh, well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, I went to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, they are. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Oh, come, oh, come on. Don't act so surprised. Can make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all slim like a porcelain. Okay. Oh. How many dreams are getting crushed today? Oh. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay, that's what I'm giving you. Kyoko, Kyoko Kirigiri. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know. Her name didn't show up anywhere on that whole Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Once you didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What is that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by a chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to... she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Hello. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Chihiro Fujisaki. Okay, that's what they're giving you. Ultimate programmer. Okay. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed when I write never introduced myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but 
Have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tahira Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um... Hey, so, uh, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What well, are you apologizing um, for now? Well, well, just cause you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid that maybe you didn't like me. Oh <laughs> no, I do like you. Hey, I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why your friends are so into her. I like her, actually. She's a nice girl. Hey, ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends Aoi just call Asahina. me Hina. What's <laughs> up? What's up? <laughs> Okay, that's important to me. Aoi Asahina. <laughs> okay, that's important. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary. She's even become chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. cadet. <laughs> she is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. A combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. So, uh, what's your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Nayegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure. Got it. I'll hear. I'll hear it in my brain right now. Yeah! Makoto Nayegi. Makoto Nayegi. She kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. I never heard that before in my life. Hey, by the way, uh, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly as it sounds. Um, well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. <laughs> sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is that she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Those four over there are the only ones left. Let's talk to Celeste, Yasuhiro Hagakure, Byakuya Togami, and Sakura Ogami. Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. Okay, that's the name I'm giving. That's the voice I'm giving you. Celestia Ludenberg. I am a bit of trouble, no? <laughs> No, I'm not even racist. Ultimate gambler, huh? Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why did you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say m any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she is the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. <laughs> she, she, they say that she entered and won an underground gambling tournament entering the title of Queen of Liars. Oh crap, don't you, don't you think that she'd be uh, going to jail? Because underground gambling is kind of illegal, ain't it? <laughs> She's only cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did. Oh, my money! <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> A smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. I know I will. Okay, actually, no, I changed my mind. I'll give him that voice. Um, uh, fun fact. Uh, one time I went to GameStop and bought, uh, I don't remember what game it was, 
but there was one GameStop uh, cut uh, freaking uh, cashier, and he looked just like this guy. I'm not kidding. Yes, here a hug, Kure. Here for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Okay, that, okay that's the voice I'm giving him. You know, I'll give him that. I know I'll give him that voice, but yeah, no, this voice seems more more suited. That's a hero hug Kure, known as Supernova in the psychic community. The transcending ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It seems pretty, it's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, could it be? Uh, okay, I'll give up. <laughs> Huh? What happened? For serious. Serious? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I saw it. I totally saw it. <laughs> saw what? Mm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in his mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemur and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Well, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and, well, it's a long story. A few times. Yeah, I bet that is a long story. <laughs> I've been held back since in 10th grade twice and 5th grade six times. What? <laughs> Name's Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. That's the voice I'm going to give you. Affluent Prodigy. Prodigy. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half assed interaction I've ever heard. But there isn't anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one's special. Yakio Tugami. He's the heir and parent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations in his own his own personal assets are well. Fast. <laughs> he his title of ultimate fluent fluent pro, progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. Come on. We're done with interactions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Zora says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. Oh boy. I am Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. This is the voice I'm giving you. Alright, before you guys say anything, this is a woman. <laughs> this is a woman. <laughs> Ultimate martial artist. Oh, jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I see something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember... <laughs> She competed in martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That in, that thread also said a bit more about her. Some call, some call her Ogre. Some even think that she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. Oh my god, that's horrible. Any incoming Hope Peak students are reading this. Let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Oh my god! Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey! Hey! You! Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke a prod at my body. My body. Boga. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular and quantity and quantity. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not fit at all to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's a such a shame for me. In fact, you would break me like a freaking breadstick. <laughs> You'd break me like a fucking twig. <laughs> With that, all the interactions are done. Hmm. Even though that they're all ultimate. They each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Um, well, you see. Uh, um. Uh, um, Makoto, you just said a bunch of stuff happened and 
you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Man, seriously? Just after the, each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere in here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? <laughs> but that's just weird. Uh, everyone, every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. <laughs> and that's not the only thing. You saw all, all the windows in the class in the hallways were, right? <laughs> but instead of having normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big, big, blah, 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 big metal plates. What's that about? <laughs> Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um... Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't see my PDA anywhere, either. And then, there's the main hall, here. The front exit is completely blocked with some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But, there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's he doing there? Aww. Maybe we just got caught up in... Kind of, maybe we got caught up in, like... Kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it, like... Is it, like... What? Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer it up. <laughs> I bet all, all this... I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just glad... I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. <laughs> I see. Oh, so you think that's what they want? You, you think that... So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? What the hell? What? What? It, well, if that's all it is, it's not time for me. You know what I mean. I was wait. Uh, I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. Feel everyone's tension evaporating. Then it began. Holy crap! I've been recording way too long. Uh. Uh, what? Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. That voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like, it, like, it was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, Okay. <gasps> what the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well, then, if you excuse me. Hey! Hey, what? Are you just gonna take off like that? Could it be? Could it be? Oh, yeah, now I get it. This whole thing's just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all just a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? You know, I guess I'll head off too. I wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, 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 damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap, too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Huh? Wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> well, that's it, that's it, I think. I will see you all there. Anyway! Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go, too. Everyone took off at the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. An uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that, that was totally weird. However. 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 Maybe. But just staying put doesn't mean we're all... We'll all be safe. I just spit on my screen. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit too... Yeah, are you guys just a bit, a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. I, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said go to the gym, right? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. 
All right, with that, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. Jesus Christ, I recorded way too long. Uh, anyway, like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time where we'll head off to the gym to see what that mystery announcer wanted to s say to us. Anyway, like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.